Okay, so um, we're going to use the term in, determinants to solve a system of equations. And I'm doing a system of equations in three variables. These are all linear, by the way. Um, it could be two uh, equations if you want. I'm going to do three just to make it a little more difficult, and then you should be able to do twos. Um, so we're going to use determinants to solve. This is called Kramer's Rule using determinants to solve a system of equations, a system of linear equations. And this, in particular, is three variables. If it were two variables, you just cut it into x and y instead of z, right? <clears throat> so um, I have the rules here, but let me show you what it means. All right, so let's, uh, let's take this system. And um, Let's start with, okay, so let me show you with this. So D, D is first the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So let's find the coefficient matrix. Now, first, this system is already in my form that I need it to be in to make my life easy, right? Um, X column, Y column, Z column equal to constant. So let's do capital D, which is the determinant of the three by three matrix, which is the coefficient matrix here. So my coefficient matrix going down my X, um, going down my Y's, I don't know why is this floating. <laughs> going down my y's, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Going down my z's, 3, 1, 6. Okay, this is my D, capital D, in this little formula, okay? Capital D is the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So let's find that. Now, this is a 3 by 3, so I have to go through the process. Go on, let's go across row 1. 2 times the corresponding, right, little 2 by 2 matrix determinant, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 6. Minus 2 times its little leftover 4, 5, 1, 6, plus 3 times its little leftover matrix, right? Again, plus, minus, plus. Simplify. 2 times negative 6 minus negative 2, right? Minus 2 times 24 minus 5, plus 3 times negative 8 minus negative 5. Let's simplify. This is 2 times negative 4 minus 2 times... 19 plus 3 times ne negative 3. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is negative 8 minus 38 minus 9, um, which simplifies all to negative 55. So this is my D. Now I'm not done. That's just capital D. Now, you're going to see you have dx, dy, dz. If it were just um, x and y, it would be dx and dy. So let's do dx next, okay? dx is the determinant of the matrix, the coefficient matrix, right? But one change. Instead of my x coefficients, I'm replacing these coefficients with my constant column. So 10, negative 5, 1. 10, negative 5, 1. The rest of this determinant, you know, this matrix, you know, stays the same. So as the coefficient matrix. So 2, negative 1, negative 2. And then 3, 1, 6. So if it's dx, I'm replacing the x column with my constant column. The rest of the coefficient matrix stays the same. And then again, it's a determinant of a 3 by 3. So let's go across the top. 10 times, I'm just going to go into it, okay? Negative 6 minus negative 2 um, minus 2 times negative 30 minus 1 plus 3 times 10 minus negative 1, right? 10 minus negative 1. I would always double check my signs because it's easy to make a mistake. 10 times negative 4 minus 2 times negative 31 plus 3 times uh, 11. I'm just going to go straight and plug that into my calculator make my life easy. Um, negative 40 um, plus 2 times 31 plus 33. I got 55. So this is looking good. This is dx. dx is 55. It just so happens that it's the same as d or, or similar, okay? That's not always the case. But that's a good sign because that means that my x um, solution is going to be, you know, a whole number. But I'm not done. That's dx. Let's do dy now. Now dy is also the coefficient matrix, but instead of my y column, I'm replacing my y column with my constant column. So 2, 4, 5 stays there. 
right? My third column stays the same, 316. But now my y column is replaced with my constant column, 10, negative 5, 1. And then I find the determinant of this matrix. So again, across the top, 2 times negative 30 minus 1 minus 10 times 24 minus 5 plus 3 times 4 minus negative 25, right? Double check, negative 30 minus 1, 10. 24 minus 5, 3, 4 minus negative 25. And I'm going to plug it into my calculator. I'm going to go 2 times negative 31 um, minus 10 times 19 plus 3 times uh, 29. So this is negative 165. So dy is negative 165. Last one, dz. This is the coefficient matrix, but instead of my z coefficients, I'm taking and replacing my z column with my constant column. So 2, 4, 5 stays. 2, 4, 5 stays. 2, negative 1, negative 2 stays. And then now my z column is replaced with 10, negative 5. 1. And then I find the determinant of that. So across the top, um, 2 times its corresponding determinant. So that's a negative 1 minus 10 minus 2 times 4 minus negative 25 plus 10 times negative 8 minus negative 5, which is plus 5. Double check, negative 1 minus 10, good, minus this one. 4 minus negative 25, 10, 4 minus negative 5, Ooh, 4 minus, yeah, uh, next, sorry, negative 8 plus 5, good. Um, I'm just plugging into my calculator again. 2 times negative 11 minus 2 times oops, uh, 29 plus 10 times negative 3 is negative 1 times. This is looking good because everything is divisible by 55, so that, that's good. Now, I got everything I need, right? I only have three variables, so I need d, the determinant of the coefficient matrix, dx, the determinant of the coefficient matrix with my x column replaced by my constants, dy, the determinant of my coefficient um, uh, matrix with the y column replaced with constants, dz, the determinant of the coefficient matrix with the z column replaced with my constants. Um, and then, so if it were just x and y, I would only have to do d, dx, and dy. If it were like x, y, z, I'd and w, I'd have to do dx, dy, dz, dw, and d. So it just depends on how big your system is. But I'm not done, because I need to find x, y, and z. So x is the ratio of dx over d, y is the ratio of dy over d, z is the ratio of dz over d. So last but not least, Let's find the solution using Kramer's rule. X is dx over d. dx was 55 and d was negative 55. So 55 over negative 55, which is negative 1. y is dy over d. And dy, where are you, was negative 165. Negative 165 over d, which was negative 55. And I think that's 3 positive 3. And then z, which is dz over d, which I think we just did. dz was negative 110 over negative 55, which is positive 2. So therefore, my solution is the following order triple. Now, this is using Kramer's rule. Obviously, this is just one way to solve a system of equations. And, you know, some methods are faster than others. Um, this method, obviously, would be faster with a system of two instead of three to solve using Kramer's rule. But you can understand that it might be faster to use Kramer's rule dependent on like if you use a computer program, if you have the determinants, if you need determinants for something else, and you know what I mean? It all depends on the situation you have. So um, this is called Kramer's rule using to solve a system of equations. And I did three variables. It could be two variables, four variables, five variables, it doesn't matter. 
determinant of a three by three matrix. So this is a bit more work, okay? So I'm gonna go across the top here. We're gonna take row one, okay? And the pattern is plus minus plus. So we're gonna start with the number four. Um, once I start with the first number in row one, what I'm gonna do is, let me change the color real fast. I'll do colors so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so um, row one, so I'm gonna start with, so dealing with row one, start with the first element in row one, so number four, right? When I'm dealing with number four, okay, what I do is I take number four, and whatever row and column that that first element is in, I'm just going to kind of cross it out. And whatever is left, I'm going to take the determinant of that matrix. So what I do again is I'm going across the top, row 1, and I'm taking the first element in row 1. And when I take that element, everything in its row and its column cancels, it goes away, and whatever's left is the matrix that I'm going to determine um, its determinant for, okay? So this is the first step. This is called a cofactor matrix. Um, we'll talk about that again uh, later, but. Next, um, I'm going across row one. So I'm gonna take the next element in row one. And when I take this element now, this row and this column cancel. So what's left? Three, two. So let me say uh, minus zero. Three, two, four, five. Take the determinant of that. Now. Remember I said the pattern is plus minus plus. So I'm taking plus this element times the determinant of the leftover matrix minus the second element times the determinant of its leftover matrix plus the third element times the product or uh, times the determinant of its leftover matrix which is 3 2 negative 1, negative 3, and then simplify. So once I do all these operations, then I'll get the determinant of this full 3 by 3 matrix. So again, I go across row 1, first element times its corresponding determinant, leftover matrix, if you want to call it that, minus the second element times its leftover determinant matrix, um, plus the third element, times its corresponding leftover matrix, and then we simplify. Now, obviously, zero times anything is zero, so those two go. So it's really just simply this. Four times the determinant of this two by two, which, again, we go diagonally, this product minus this product, negative five minus negative 12. So four times negative five plus 12, four times seven, um, which is 28. So 28 is the determinant of this three by three matrix. Um, let me do one more. Let's do negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, 7. Let me try to keep it small numbers. 1, 3, negative 1, 0, 4, 2. Right? I have this 3 by 3 matrix, and I have these di um, straight lines indicating find its determinant. So I'm going to go, again, across the top. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to show the colors this time. I'm going across the top, and again, it's plus, minus, plus. That's the, um, the pattern of the signs that go in front of the element. So plus, the first element here, negative 2 times its leftover determinant matrix. So cross out this row and this column, and I'm left with 3, 4, negative 1, 2. Minus the next element, let me scoot this over a little bit. Minus the next element, which is negative four across the top row, times its leftover matrix. So crossing out its column and its row, I'm left with one zero, negative one two. Plus the next element in row one, which is negative one, times its leftover corresponding determinant matrix. Crossing out its column and its row, I'm left with one, zero, three, four. 
And once I find all this, then I have my final determinant of this three by three matrix. So negative two times this determinant, um, product of this diagonal minus product of this, six minus negative four, plus four times its determinant, two minus zero, plus or minus one, because plus minus one, times its determinant, four minus zero. And then this is negative two times 10, plus 4 times 2 minus 1 times 4, so negative 20. Let me scoot this down. Okay. Negative 20 plus 8 minus 4, so negative 24, or negative 20 plus this is 4, so negative 16 is my determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix.